Now we are going to make yengai, for which I have taken about 5 tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. And then into that it's hot now. I add about quarter spoon, teaspoon of black mustard seeds. And then some curry patta. And then I add cut uh, potato pieces, raw for potato pieces which have been cut like the shape of a finger chip. Right. First I add that. have been cooking for about 5 minutes now. So just take a look. There. The pictures are almost done. This is 70 percent done. This you can make out by trying to cut it. It's cut quite easy. Okay. It gets a distance. Okay. This is not entirely good, but 70 percent done. Now so at this stage, we are cut brinjal pieces. Brinjal pieces are also cut lengthwise <coughs> in the same way as we put it over there. We mix them up. When the potato and brinjal are being cooked, I have to make the tamarind juice for which I have taken one tumbler of water, about 250 ml of water. And then I add this much of tamarind pieces into the water. And I heat it so that it will be easier to make the tamarind juice. Now 
Krishna you can turn off the flame and allow it to cool for some time. So you find it gets absorbed and becomes thicker. Now this is the curry. Ready to serve. You can have it as a side dish as it is. That's the end guy. You can have it as a side dish. Eat. This is the remaining yen guy. I have taken out some for the using as a side dish. Now we are going to proceed to make vangi bath which is simply adding rice. I have cooled some rice in a plate and I add this rice to the uh, yen guy and mix it. This is how the Vangi bath will look when finally mixed thoroughly. You can add some ghee as I mentioned earlier, even otherwise it tastes good. Here is the Vangi bath. Put it in the plate. Eat.